Mexican-inspired restaurant chain Taco Bell announced that the brand, in collaboration with its franchisee, Casual Brands Group of Madrid, will begin building an additional 45 restaurants across Spain and add more than 900 jobs to the local economy. By 2020, Spain will be home to more than 70 Taco Bell restaurants and will be the largest market in Europe. Casual Brands Group began working with Taco Bell in 2008. The group owns and operates all Taco Bell locations in Spain. While Spain's claim to fame has been that it was the first Taco Bell market in the world to serve beer, Spanish Taco Bells have now pioneered tapas-style happy hour promotions that showcase the brand's ability to leverage local insights to create unique market specials. For more information on Taco Bell and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Next up, poultry market reporter Terrence Wells is here with the latest analysis from the turkey market. Although waning Q4 requirements, holiday-oriented logistical challenges, and ongoing international currency valuations are impacting recent trade volumes, October's turkey exports were still a commendable 16 percent above 2015, according to the latest FAS figures. And no doubt re-establishing market share and building on it will be central to discussions this week as leaders in the business of U.S. poultry and egg exports converge on Washington to D.C. to attend USA Peak's winter meeting. Totaling a little more than 23.7 thousand metric tons, October's turkey exports represented over 10 percent of the month's total ready-to-cook production. That compares favorably to 2015 when total turkey exports represented a little under 8.5 percent of production. Thanks, Terrence. Finally, uncertainty is surrounding North America's lobster market. Here with a story is Seafood News Editor Michael Ramsing. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding the lobster market in North America this December. First, the winter season in Nova Scotia's major lobster fishing areas 33 and 34 were delayed because of bad weather. This is a big change from last season when Canadian lobstermen reported some of the fishery's best fishing weather in several years. Meanwhile, the quality of the lobsters has not been good. Most landed lobsters have only been good enough for processing or for sales to local live markets. This means there's been a lack of live product available for long distance exports. But exports to European and Chinese markets are still strong. Meanwhile, market prices are currently down in live lobster markets, but are a mixed bag for tails depending on sizes. All of this is making for a very murky lobster market situation, which has created a lot of caution on the part of buyers who are not sure if the market is going lower or not. Subscribers to Ernie Berry's Comtel can expect to get more lobster market news, quotations, and expert commentary throughout the winter season with a subscription to Comtel. Thanks, Mike. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head over to the News tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customized searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.